Hi guys, Mama Beach here. I wanted to update you on some things that are happening in my purse world. And some of them aren't the greatest, but I'm gonna try to stay positive because it's important to have a positive attitude and I think all this is gonna work out. We're gonna figure it out. You might need to help me to figure it out together. So item number one, I just got this bag in last week. It's been a few days. And I was gonna do an unboxing video later this week, but I'm not that happy with it. So I'm just gonna show it to you guys and um, tell you what's going on, because we've all been there. So I got this Florentine um, pocket clutch in the color red off of eBay. And you know, sometimes you order stuff off eBay and you get super lucky and it arrives and it's perfect and it smells great and yes, I got a score on eBay and then, then other times it shows up and it's just not what you thought it was going to be. And that's what this is. Um, seller said it was excellent condition, like new, but it came and has stains all over it. And I'm going to try to show them on camera, but it's one of those things where this is like so shiny. Like you can see some here, there's some over here, there's one over here. The corners are super dark and stained and dirty which was also not disclosed there's also this like weird darkness on the back I don't know if it's like denim transfer but it's kind of like on the sides here and then the inside is just filthy it's just full of crumbs and sparkles and gum wrappers and other pieces of trash um and it kind of has like a like a little bit of a funky odor so I wrote the stellar and we're not seeing eye to eye about this bag. Um, he freely admits that he does not use handbags and doesn't know much about them, but he also says that when I sent him pictures of these issues, he's not seeing what I'm talking about and it looks fine to him. So I opened a return in eBay after he tried to convince me to mail it to his address outside of eBay and he promised to return my money on PayPal. And I said, no, thank you. I will be doing the return through eBay. Um, which I'm not sure he liked too much, but I'm like, I'm not going to get scammed. I mean, what do you think I was born yesterday? No. So I'm super disappointed about this. I don't know if the return's going to work out or not. I might have to keep it. We'll have to see what eBay decides. Um, but the reason I got this is because of an awesome YouTuber and the awesome YouTuber is Anj and she is fantastic. So if you haven't go haven't watched her channel go and watch it because she has speaking of being positive she has the best attitude and she just exudes positive energy and I really love watching her videos because they always make me smile and laugh and I just always enjoy how much energy that she has so I'm going to link her channel below in the description because she has an awesome one of these this exact bag and she um, talks about it and how versatile it is and all the different ways you can use it. So go watch her video about this bag because um, it's awesome and it made me want one. And so I contacted her and she helped me find this one. Um, and I was excited to be bag twins. So we'll see, I don't know if it's gonna work out or not, but one of these days we will be bag twins. I'm gonna get one. So the next thing I wanted to tell you guys about is I got another exciting arrival in a few days ago and um I'm not sure what to do about it so I got this awesome bag called a small aqua florentine satchel that matches my small aqua florentine satchel that I already have so the reason I bought this is because it's perfect I don't think it's ever been carried it's smooth from top to bottom it's super stiff it's obviously not broken in at all and it's just perfect, absolutely perfect. My small aqua that I have currently is very irregularly pebbled. You can see it's very pebbled on this end specifically, and you can really see it on the bottom. And on the back, it's very pebbled. So, I mean, I don't really care that much about pebbling, but when I saw this opportunity to come, come up to buy this, I was like, yeah, let's do it. I'll get a like brand new one, nice and smooth, and then I'll sell my pebbled one. And then it got here and I started thinking about listing this 
bag and it started making me a little bit nauseous because this is just like my my baby it was my my unicorn small aqua that I really wanted and thinking about getting rid of it even for a better aqua is just like it's making me feel sick to my stomach I can't do it I can't so now I don't know what to do the other issue is when I first got this bag it was just perfection out of the box it had a little bit of a weird smell but it smelled like plastic to me almost like plastic wrap like maybe it had been stored in a plastic bin but since it's been in my house and really aired out for the last two or three days I think it's getting worse the smell and I think it's starting to smell like cigarettes to me and I don't know if the seller used something to try to cover it up and that's what I was smelling at first but it definitely smells a little bit like cigarettes to me now. So I wrote the seller and I was like, hey, do you smoke or do people smoke in your house? And she was like, absolutely not. I'm the one and only owner of this bag. I bought it four years ago. It's been sitting in my closet ever since and nobody in my house smokes. So that's how I know it, it does not smell like cigarettes. And I'm like, okay, but it kind of does. Like it kind of smells weird. And so she told me, if I'm not happy, I can return it to her and she'll refund my money. So I'm just trying to decide what to do. Like, I don't want to let this go because I will never find such a perfect aqua. But at the same time, it is a little bit smelly. And I really love my other one. Uh, this is tough. I don't know what to do. So I was talking to my friend Lisa about it and she was like, just keep them both. Like, have your imperfect aqua that you carry, and then you have your perfect one that sits in your closet and is your perfect aqua in your collection. And so she says she has a lot of doubles for that reason. Um, and I was like, okay. I mean, I didn't even really consider that as an option, but I just don't know if I want to keep two of the same bag. I don't know, it just seems like it's against my religion in some sort of way to do that. So... Anyways, speaking of my friend Lisa, I want to share this with you guys because I think you, my audience, will totally appreciate this tip I'm about to give you. So, Lisa. She's the one that makes these sweet bag tags for me that I have in my closet. And I've talked about her before because she has one of the most amazing collections of Dooney bags, like, ever. They're so so many rare bags that she has and I have done lots of business with her we are friends we trade we buy and sell from each other and so she told me that she's getting ready to do a major purge like huge 20 plus bag purge of rare bags um, and I wanted to share with you the list that she gave me because I think a lot of you might be interested in these things she told me she's selling, look, I had to write it down because it's so many bags. She's selling four Smiths, three medium Florentine satchels, two mini Florentine satchels, two Florentine Buckleys, two Florentine Kingstons, two double strap tassel satchels, two Claytons, three Barlows, and two, two Savannas. And these are some of the colors of these bags that she's getting rid of. Salmon, lavender, mustard or sunflower, kelly, orange, moss, ocean, olive, navy, turquoise, and maybe some of her aquas. And yes, I say some of because she has many of these bags. So even though she is selling these and doing a spring cleaning and going through and removing doubles and stuff that she has in her collection, she still has so many more, you guys, you have no idea. This one is like my Dooney hero. So if you would like a chance to purchase these bags, she is telling me that she is going to start selling them on May 1st. And she's going to start selling them in this awesome new group that we both just joined. And I would love to see you all in this group. It's on Facebook. And the group is called Dooney Devotion. And it just got started. It's a small group. Um, and the reason I'm loving it is because I'm loving the smallness of it because I feel like I kind of get to know everybody in there and 
there aren't as many rules and regulations as far as how you can list your bags and there's aren't there aren't admin approvals on all your posts so you can post openly you can post multiple bags in one listing uh, it's kind of like a uh, the wild west of Dooney groups. It's just a little bit more free and open, which I definitely appreciate. So um, she's going to start posting her bags in there on May 1st. And if you want a chance to own any of these super rare bags, go join the group Dooney Devotion. And I'm going to link it below because I'm really enjoying it on Facebook. All right, guys, I hope to see you on Facebook. And as always, follow me on Instagram, Mama Beach. All one word is my username. And until next time, I will see you later.